What is up guys? Today's Today's video has been one that I have in the back of my head for quite a while. Recently, um, Bethesda has kind of been a jerk. They've been adding paywalls behind a lot of games, and now that the after E3's paid mods, they try and deny it, but it's paid mods. I'm literally losing like all the respect that I had for Bethesda. Let's talk about the Elder Scrolls Online. There is literally not a single thing you can do without having to have some sort of pay payment to it. There's a paywall behind every sort of thing, even if they- like half the locations you have to have some sort of DLC. And all, for those of you that play Skyrim, they're, they're releasing a Falkreath part, and people would have thought it would be free, right? Nah, it costs, costs money to even get to like a- it's a stupid. I mean, I I hear that they have they're having money issues or something, but that's still not a, not an excuse to that's still not an excuse to, pay, to charge people ridiculous amounts. Yeah, that was a ridiculous kill. But, um, I don't really like how they're doing that. They're charging things for charging people for ridiculous things, and it just isn't fair. Um, this video is just me t saying why I don't like that. As a person that it paid for a game, I paid for the gold edition of The Elder Scrolls Online, which is supposed to give me a lot of the DLC and a lot of other stuff, yet they still charge outrageous amounts, even to the people that have the one above the gold edition where you get all the all things. It basically is forcing you to get ESO Plus, which costs money and is a, and is a subscription. Without that, and without any DLC, you're basically just stuck doing nothing. And then the crowns. You ha you still, practically everything costs crowns. It's ridiculous. Now the paid mods thing that Bethesda is doing, that one is... That one still has yet to release. It says it's coming this summer, but um, I'm pretty sure summer's about over. When are we gonna get that? And that was that was what got me. And ba bad transition. All right. Um. But what got me is that they, they lie. They've been. They're starting to lie about everything. And they're just. It's not paid mods. But um. Then again, you're gonna have to pay for things to get the mods, which is gonna cost you yet like I'm guessing like five dollars since it still has yet to be released and it's supposed to be released sometime soon. But you know. What would- haven't they not learned before? On, have they not learned from Steam's mistake? According to what I've heard, Steam actually did a paid mods thing and it- it was horrible. Are, have people not learned from that? Just- why, um, why charge people for stuff that isn't necessary? Like, some of these things are ridiculous amounts. Um. I'm just losing a lot of my respect for Bethesda f right now because of all the stuff that they've been pulling on us. It, I, I really, I was on the tip whenever, I was on the tip whenever, um, they released, um, when, when they showed the information about Creation Club, but I lost it, like I legit lost it whenever I was trying to play a house thing on ESO, then all of a sudden everything costs crowns, I'm like, is there nothing that you, that you guys won't... They're ba they're just losing the respect that they had for their fans. They're losing the dignity and stuff that they promised us. But again, again, that's what happens when you get, when a company grows bigger. I guess things start getting out of hand. And but um, I've been playing a lot more of Overwatch recently just to chill out from all that stuff. This is a competitive mode play. But that is how I um that's how I explain that is it's just unfair to charge people ridiculous amounts for stupid things. 
I mean, let's say, um, let's see, what kind of mods would you would you get from that? Nothing. There is nothing that will co that should charge that you should charge for when it comes to the modifications. Oh, just because you can still have achievements doesn't mean you could you should actually like commit to it. But I'm money is a, money can do a lot of things to someone. I'm guessing that's what happened with Bethesda. Is that they got too they got too carried away with their money and now they're just they don't care about the fan base anymore. They care about their own good, which is something I understand. To be honest, I understand that in a way, but it still doesn't give you a reason to this doesn't give you a reason to be outrageous with everything. Wait, I need to. But um, yeah, it's just. If you're gonna charge people for my. Here's what. Here's actually the simplest part. If you want to charge people for stuff, make it worth their while, not just stupid things like crowns from the ESO, or mo paid mods and Fallout and, and, and Skyrim. Make it make it worthwhile, like a new DLC or something. Not stupid crowns that cost you like twenty four dollars to get like thousand of them. Um, I kind of understand how uh, I understand how PlayStation is with them because at first they're really skeptical with mods, but if you look at the um what they're doing with right now. I, I'm starting to wonder if that was why they're they're curious and they're that they're gonna start doing this. Uh, I hate being a healer. Let's just say that. Um, well, that's all for today, guys. It's almost. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, like and sub if you like and all that stuff. Bye. Gonna make you feel better. Don't be scared,